Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday the 18th. I'm here at the Santa Monica job. Started planting some of the podocarpus already. I have another eight in this trench. You can see the orange dots. I had 12 scoops of soil that was delivered yesterday. I'm going to be renting a rototiller on Monday to get this grass area ready. I have another eight podocarpus that are going to be going in this trench along the side right here. And I planted the two podocarpus on the left side. The one on the right side I'm going to wait so I have easy access in and out of that gate before I plant that. So, the first row of podocarpus is done. I took 10 24 inch um, to finish this row, which looks really nice. Great full, you, you, you know, they're about $205 each, but you get instant privacy. I mean, you don't have to wait for it to grow. I mean, these are probably about five years old. So, um, <clears throat> What I do is I also make sure that the back is trimmed nice and clean so that you can at least get back there. So that's always important. And as you're maintaining it, always keep it nice and clean. And it's good what I did right here down at the bottom. You can see I also trimmed about a foot, maybe even higher if you want to, um, so that you can get the drip system in there easily. You can also... Um, spread the mulch out and then it just keeps it nice and clean so you can you know maintain it a little better keep the weeds from growing through um, and then I always add you know a little extra soil and then I'll be throwing more soil on top of that as it packs in I did step on it a little bit but I didn't do too much so basically what I'm gonna do here as well because it gets pretty windy is I'm going to do another cable going across the backside like I did in Redondo Beach. A um, couple tips to, uh, to clean, take cleaning these up. What you want to keep in mind is that like this row right here, the grass is going to start right there and it's going to go all the way down to the end. So what you don't want is you don't want the plants growing out into the grass area because one, it's going to be hard to mow the grass. And sometimes if it's the lower, the lower pieces, um, they can block the water from spraying onto the grass. Now here there's a playground right here. So you want to keep this area somewhat open so that you can walk easily without getting hit. So you can see like that branch up here is too long. So what I do is I look for a spot in the back and I cut it off. So basically you want one, two, three, at least three trimmings that are going to be up. You don't really want the ones that are hanging down too much because what the ones are hanging down, they'll end up sagging the tree, the branches. So generally what I'll do is I'll just cut and then I'll cut the ones that are hanging down a little bit. I will also cut those a little shorter too. And it's good to do it with these clippers instead of like a big trimmer and and because what it's going to do is this this trimming you can make it so it looks uneven so it looks more natural if you end up using like you know a tool it's just going to cut it all the same length it's too noticeable but when you do it 
very random cuts you won't notice it as much so and then I try to look to see any branches that are going to be growing like this one right here see you can see it's growing too much into this other one so what I'll do is I'll cut it off just so that they can kind of you want it to fill in but the branches when they start hanging down that means they're too little and the, they're getting too long so you want to cut them back so that they'll strengthen the, the the parts on the inside closest to the stump will will uh, get thicker and they'll be able to hold more weight so you got to cut them back a little bit so they don't end up you know sagging down too much a lot of the times when you get these but the podocarpus from a nursery or something like that um, they will need quite a bit of trimming so these 10 branches actually I have this pile here of trimmings and those piles there of trimmings as well as the green bin is halfway full so those are all the trimmings that I took off of these um, and they still look full so you know to be able to keep it nice and maintained properly and make it keep it look good you know you want to make sure you trim it and same with the roof line you don't want them when the wind blows it can scratch off the paint it can rub on it you don't want mice can also jump across um, and get up on your roof you don't want that to happen either so you want to kind of keep that trim the best way you can so and then again the back side um, I usually will trim it off far enough back to where I can walk sideways back here um, so you don't end up being scratched too much when you're coming back here to do some maintenance or something like that and cleaning up the wall or anything like that so yeah, I'm just trimming some of this back. Sun's kind of in my eyes. It's good to do it the other way. There we go. And it's also good because you know you don't want them growing into this fence either, because they can. It once as they get big enough, they can scratch it. They can break it. So see how long this is. It's very skinny and lanky. It's, it doesn't hold itself up. See, so that's too long. So what I do is I trim it back to here. And then basically let those branches let those branches right there grow and sometimes I mean right now I'm not going to trim the bottom one but sometimes you want to trim the bottom one um, you know, it's always good sometimes to thin, thin these out sometimes you'll get like these really thick spots um, which are not necessary and it also help the wind kind of blow through it a little better if it's thinned out a little bit. Alright, that looks good. I'll leave it at that. There's a dead branch up there, I gotta get that too. So what I'm also gonna do because they've they've kind of out the tops have kind of outgrown the the stakes that are on there. You can kind of see and I wanna make sure that they're good they grow straight. So I'm going to um, get some half-inch stakes that they have at Home Depot. See, like that one right there, and this one right here, this one right there. They're all starting to grow to the side, and I don't want that to happen. So I get a half-inch stake, and I zip-tie it to the wooden stake that's in the center, the solid wooden stake. Um, and that'll help keep it nice and straight. And what looks really good is, um, I think what I'm going to do here, we haven't talked about it yet, but something I'd like to do is to um, add some uh, lights shining up into these as well. Usually I like to use the flat ones because for the floodlights to work properly, you have to be at least five feet away. And as you can see, there's not five feet of space away to be able to shine up. So... <clears throat> 
what I'll probably end up doing is using the um, flat ones which will be in the mulch and you can basically you you won't have to worry about getting them kicked or anything like that so um, and it'll just shine right straight up so that'll be nice too hope you all have a great weekend and thank you for watching